part of Jim's success is the fact that he's an iconoclast. Great scientists are creative people. Jim's lab has a feel of being like a pirate ship. Jim theorized that tumors have evolved to trick the immune system. At the time, it was a crazy idea. This constituted a real breakthrough. I knew that this is a way to cure cancer, and I'll be damned if I'm going to let that just lay around. For the next decade, he had one goal, to get that made into a drug for cancer patients. It was just no, place after place after place. Many of my colleagues said, this will never work. My mother was sat on the bed with her and held her hand while she died and found out later that there was lymphoma. When I was first told I had prostate cancer, I was terrified because it was a week after my brother had died. BMS was not sure they were going to take it at all. I must admit, I was apprehensive. His experiment in this was to just keep fighting, to say, there's something here. He's willing to do it in the face of his colleagues not necessarily believing him. He wanted to stay on the scientists. He wanted to stay on the FDA. He wanted to stay on Bristol-Myers Squibb. I need to get it into people. I need to get it into patients. I got a phone call from the radiologist. And he goes, what did she get? All the cancer went away. Until then, you know, it was just a concept. She was the first patient I'd ever met. How in the world are you supposed to adequately thank somebody that without them, you wouldn't be here? That makes it all worthwhile. It takes a really powerful idea combined with someone willing to push it forward to make it happen. The number one thing I learned was how important it is just to persevere. We knew we were changing the world. May I ask you to step forward to receive the Nobel Prize?